end. Okay, so there is a transmitter, there is a receiver, and we are sending P equals to zero, and S equals to zero, and R equals to zero. We have initialized it, and when the packet is received, we are we are setting the R value to one, and it is expecting that packet one actually, right? Because packet one zero, it has been already been received. So this is the expected delay time, or you could say expected time when the transmitter was expecting that it will be acknowledgement to be received but this is the actual time when acknowledgement one has been received at the transmitter end now when that uh, when the you know that the timer expires then transmitter basically it has to resend the same packet that is s equals to zero to the to the transmitter to the receiver okay so it is basically p equals to zero but this packet will be discarded why because it has already been received by the receiver but again the receiver it will send the acknowledgement one now for this case what will happen for here okay now you know so here the transmitter it received the received the acknowledgement of the previous packet now when it received the acknowledgement of the previous packet so it will change its um, its counter s equals to one and and then and then it will send the packet p1 and the receiver it will it will accept that packet p equals to one okay it will receive the packet p equals to one and it will send back the acknowledgement that is equals to zero because you know the r value it set it as a zero now what will happen to that the second acknowledgement basically this acknowledgement will be simply discarded why because uh, it will be it will be discarded because why your previous s equals to one so it is expecting the acknowledgement zero so it is whatever whatever acknowledgement it will, it will receive if it is received the acknowledgement one so it basically simply it will simply discard that acknowledgement 